Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here, and today I'm just heading out to my nearby camp. Uh, we received, well, about six inches, maybe eight inches of snow. That's uh, 15 to 20 centimeters. And uh, anyway, as you can see, it's still snowing now. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much more we're going to get. But anyway, what I want to do is go to my nearby camp, and uh, I brought a, a big shovel, so I'm going to dig it out a little bit and. Uh, set up a tarp. So why don't you come along? Some tracks there. I would say that's a gray squirrel. Looks like rabbit tracks, but they are quite a bit smaller. About half the size of rabbit tracks. And the red squirrels are a lot smaller than that yet. And they run differently, so they don't really leave that kind of a trail. pine there. The bottom branches are all dry. Well, we're almost there. See my dench over in the distance there. And there's no sign of my cinder block fire pit. It's all buried. Not sure if you can see those. I can't see them in the viewfinder very well, but anyway, there's a lot of tracks here as well. And they're just squirrels. Stay hydrated. I can usually tell when I'm starting to get dehydrated because my speech gets a little slurry. I try to stop every once in a while. Just take a sip of water. And I try not to exert myself too much. Okay, I guess first thing to do is to remove some of this loose stuff just to see what I'm up against. I know my fire pit is here somewhere. A 
crusty snow right underneath the fresh stuff because we got uh, about half an inch of rain there a little while ago. A couple of days ago, I guess. cinder blocks. I've got to get a couple of six foot saplings to support the front side of this tarp. Brought my saw. Now I just identify something that's not too, too far away. Now with the ground frozen, normal tent stakes aren't going to do. So what you have to do is wrap your cord around your tent stake and lay it in the snow horizontally, buried as deep as you can get it. Something like this. Determine where you want to put your tent stake. So I'm going to put it right there. Like that. So what I want to do is dig a trench deep enough so I can put some snow on top and it'll keep the stake from coming up out of the snow. and deep.
and then bury. This works really well in, in wet snow. This is actually powdery snow. So I'll have to pack more in there. And now I can just tighten this. And we're all set.
Okay, so what I'm going to cook today is a maritime comfort food. It's a chicken hatty, and it doesn't have any chicken in it whatsoever. So, uh, just going to let that oil heat up a little bit and uh, boil some water for some tea. And we'll start putting the ingredients in. Okay, so the first ingredient is half of a small minced onion. So that goes right into the oil. We'll just soften those up a bit. And once the onions are softened up a little bit, the rest of the ingredients can go in. And you don't really you don't really want the onions to brown at all, just to soften up a little. That's probably good there. Okay, the next ingredient is about a cup and a half of leftover mashed potatoes. And if you find that getting a little bit dry, you can add some more oil because the potatoes will absorb the oil. Yep, I'm gonna add more oil. Okay, and that's followed by a can of chicken hattie. Now chicken hattie is the name given to this um, flaked white fish. It's a uh, cod or haddock and it's already cooked in the can so all you really have to do is just heat it up. So that goes into the pan. And because the fish is almost the same color as the mashed potatoes. I like to throw in something for color. So I also have half a cup of peas. So basically all you have to do there is just heat that up and it's ready to eat. Not boiling yet, but it's getting close. Turn this around so that it gets more evenly heated. And 
I'll get my tea ready. Oh yeah, I forgot. Salt and pepper. Let's put a generous amount of salt. And a good amount of pepper. bag ready. I'm having red rose today. See how that's doing. Mmm. Oh yeah, it's good. Let my tea steep, and I'm gonna eat. So as I said before, this is maritime comfort food. Fish and potatoes, basically. Mmm. Some more pepper to that. I think I need a pepper container that has bigger holes. Add a bit more salt too. Because of my low blood pressure, my doctor said that I can eat as much salt as I want. Mm. That's really good. It turned into a beautiful day today. There's some snow machines going down the trail. Anyway, I want to thank you for joining me. I'm going to finish this meal. 
drink my tea, and enjoy the afternoon. So, until next time, this is Muskrat Jim, signing out. For more muskrat survival videos, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe.